Hey, my name's Emma. I'm a student here at Grabber. I am in the esthetician program. I graduate in about five weeks, so I'm in level four currently. Today, I'm here with the beautiful model, Medina. We're gonna do a makeover. I'm gonna go more for a natural look, and just even out her skin tone, really light look. So this is the Glow Brow Quad. This is a cooler color. Um, it's not super red, but it's not completely gray either. It's gonna go really well with her natural brow color. So I'm using a dual-ended brow brush. It just has a spoolie on one end and a small slanted brush on the other end. And I'm just gonna start on the tail because that's where I wanna focus the most color. And I'm doing slight brow strokes because if I go in and like completely color, that's when you get more of like a block brow. You want, again, you want it to look very natural. And if you ever forget where exactly you want it to be placed, just take your brush again, line it up with the side of the nose, the corner of the eye, and you can kind of make a little mark with that brush. So if you can turn your head, you see that little dot. That's just a guide for me so I know where to stop my lines. If you ever do anything too harsh, just flip it over and kind of brush through the brow product. That's what the spoolie's there for. And as less and less product gets on the brush from doing the strokes, I just very lightly go over the front of the brow. You don't want a completely obvious ombre brow like you see all over Instagram, but naturally a brow has like less hair in the front and more hair towards the tail, so that's kind of what you want to mimic. So one eyebrow is complete. As you can see, bringing it down and filling in the tail, we still kept it natural, but it's a little more fierce. It frames the face a little better, in my opinion. And then we're just gonna do the same on the other side. Okay, and so you wanna remember your eyebrows are sisters, not twins. You don't have to make them completely identical. Obviously, you want them to look similar but your natural face isn't perfectly symmetrical, so why would you want your eyebrows to be? Next, I'm gonna use the Oil-Free Camouflage Concealer in the shade Beige. Take a little bit of that and just kind of clean it up so you have a little bit sharper of a line. I'm using that same angled brow brush. And then anything around the eye area, I like to use the ring finger to blend out. You just kind of pat. You want light pressure around the eye just because it's a very delicate area. If you go in super rough and you just kind of rub around the eye, you have more potential to cause premature aging and sagging. With that same concealer, I'm just gonna use a disposable wand with that same color concealer. And I'm just gonna go right under the eye. And then same thing, take my ring finger and just pat. I typically don't like to go too much lighter in the concealer than the actual skin tone, um, especially if I'm doing a more natural look because the lighter you go, you kind of accentuate what you're trying to hide. With this, it's maybe one shade a little bit lighter, so it adds a little bit of a brightening effect without being too obvious. I'm gonna go in with the Glow Minerals Pressed Base Honey Fair. And then I'm taking a Glow Minerals Ultra brush. It's just more of a flat top kabuki brush with that powder and I'm just going to buff it in circles on her face. The longer the bristles you have, the less product you're actually gonna be getting on the brush. So because this is longer bristles, it's a little more flimsy, so you're not gonna be like pressing product in. If you wanted like super full coverage, I would go in with something a little more short. It's just evening out her skin tone, taking away some of that shine. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Glow Minerals Blush. It's in the shade Melody. I'm taking that on an angled blush brush. 
I like to start out with very little and build up because it's much harder to take away product than it is to just add a little bit more. And then I'm gonna go in with her lip color. This is the Glow Minerals Suede Matte Crayon in the shade Monogram. I picked that specific color because the tone matches that blush color. And I picked those colors in general because more of like a mauve -y color tends to go well with an olive skin tone, which is what she has. That color is just slightly darker than her natural lip color. Because we're going for a natural look, I wanted it to kind of be like her lips, but better. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Glow Minerals Volumizing Mascara. And when I apply mascara on a client, I kind of lift their eyelid up. I call it the bump and wiggle. You kind of just bump it and wiggle up so you don't get any clumps. And this is the finished look. We have a very natural, everyday look. For more makeup tips and tutorials, go ahead and check out our YouTube page at Grabber School of Hair Design.